All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Doha, Qatar, presenting the challenger, Bulletproof. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Good combination there by Lee. Oh. <laughs> a 
another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Marty engages in a single collar tie here. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> nice punch there by Lee. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, a combination of lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. So accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Just misses with that one. Oh, counter there with an uppercut. Perfectly placed in time. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back to the jab now, no good. And they set. Flush right hand is true. Shot to the body here, blocked by Lee. Flicks the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork. And again, a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Up there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent to lead. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now, what does he do with the top control? All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice punch by Lee. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Lee gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight. DC connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. What a big time takedown. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That strike blocked by Lee. Oh, yes, it is a lost guard in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That big throw right from the jet, too. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Spinning back fist is there. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking.
All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a gun to play with. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice stupid punch. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Takedown lands. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he gives up his back. This is not a fight if you want anywhere near your backside. This could be it. I mean, this guy is so educated in chokes. He's so educated in terms of controlling positions. You're not going to roll around and scramble to get this guy off. He follows you with every bit of himself, and he's going to try and find that choke. And if you're not careful, he will latch onto an arm when you think you're right about to escape and get you with the armbar. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. And he landed the right hand there. And he continues to work the body here. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Big punch land. Job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. But even if you beat on you gotta be ready to slip the head at a moment's notice. Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, so high up the two double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. A beautiful punch. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eggs. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians got a lot of these seats. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Slips the left hand. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He misses with the right hand. And they separate. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his strong. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's getting lit up right now. Is there. 
man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right? A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you want. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight for this place. Both guys have had the oh! He was hurt. Throw him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Big combination. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's oh. He needs to start looking to finish because he's got to defend it very bad. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. and a great performance by this young man. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors has played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop for this contest at 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. More often than not, he has had an answer for all styles 